Hey everybody, it's Greg back to here, and in this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a natural light photo challenge. And it's all about how two photographers interpret the same location. Now, I'll be the first photographer up. I'll be using the Nikon D850. And the second photographer in the shoot will be my videographer, Josh Zito, and he'll be using the Canon 5D Mark IV. Now, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll give you my thoughts on whether I saw a difference between the Nikon or the Canon. All right, let's get started. In this part of the video, I'm going to share some tips with you for shooting in natural light. So we decided to make this challenge a little more difficult and we shot this at midday, so the harshest time of day. So I wanted to move into the shade so I could better balance the dynamic range. And I saw the shapes and lines and I thought this was kind of interesting. And you can see here, the foreground is a little bit darker than I would have liked. So I decided to bring in a Westcott 5-in-1 reflector and we're using the silver side to bring in some light in the foreground. You can see this shot here looks a little bit more like it was lit with strobes. So that's a way to balance the dynamic range if you're shooting outdoors at midday using a reflector to bounce that light and the silver side will give you a brighter source of light than say the white side of the reflector. Now Josh decided to shoot right in the sunlight and you can see she's backlit and he's brought up the shadows and he's used some leading lines to really add some interest to this image. Now he tried using this shot here with the backlight situation, but you can see in the video that you have to make a choice of whether having your subject properly exposed or exposing for the highlights. And I couldn't capture the complete dynamic range, the GH5, and he had difficulty too. So he decided that he wanted to use the other images better. So if you're backlighting a subject, make sure you have a reflector to bounce some light back so you can balance that. Now for the second part, I decided to shoot in the shade as well. So we chose a forest location and then I changed the background green. I made it a little more blue in Photoshop. Now here we're doing a test run. So I'm trying to shoot in continuous mode and capture the falling of the dress. And then we decided to move locations a bit. Now you can see the dress is a little blurry. If I can do this again, if you're shooting continuous with today's high megapixel camera, it's best to use a tripod. If I could do it again, I would use a tripod for that shot. You can see we're just sort of working the different locations and it was a lot easier to shoot in the shade than it was in the harsh sunlight. Now Josh has moved to a different spot here. Now we shot this at Fleming Park in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's also called Dingle Park and he's using the statues in the background and that's the Dingle Tower in the background. You'll see a shot of that in a second. And then he's working again in the shade. You can see the sun is sort of to the left of our model here. And this next shot, he decided to shoot it with a bit of a wider angle lens to capture more of the scene. And you'll see that in a second. And that way he's able to capture the stairs and the background a little more. And you can see that in the shot right here. All right, so after looking at those images, I really didn't see a huge difference between the Canon shots and the Nikon shot. Sure, we had a different interpretation of the location and where we wanted to shoot, but as far as the dynamic range, maybe there was a slight difference with the Nikon, but let me know if you saw a difference. Now, this isn't a direct comparison video. I shot a Nikon versus Canon video a while back. A lot of people complained about how we did the shoot. I used strobe and Josh used natural light, so this isn't really a comparison video. This is just, I like to use Nikon, Josh likes to use Canon. We approach things differently, we retouch differently. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, how we approach the scene and how we dealt with the natural light. If you found some of those tips helpful, or if you saw a difference between the Canon or Nikon files, let me know in the comments section below. Now, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. Also, you can freely share this video on the web. If you look below this video, click on share, and you can share it with your fellow photographers. Now, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, just hit that subscribe button, and also click on the bell notification, and that will let you know every time I release a video. I release new videos every week, so if you wanna catch those, click on subscribe and hit that bell notification. All right, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe back to here, and I'll see you in the next one.